Hello, my beautiful Pisceans. How are you, loves? I hope everyone is doing well. Pisceans today will do a special reading, special energies for all of you. And definitely thank you for those of you who did request this reading. We are focusing on today into marriage, commitment, possible children. When you will marry, when you will commit, or when you will have kids. Why I'm speaking possibilities, predictions, because not everyone wants to be married in this life. Not everyone just wants to commit. Not everyone wants kids. So if you are interested in any of this specific topics or energies, keep watching. If you don't, just scroll around, but there, there's more videos out there. So let's see here. Potential when there is this life event or when there's happening or in what circumstances they may happen. Either you are could be prior with someone or not. Whatever that comes in will be shared with you. And also keep in mind these are general energies. My highly resonate with you. My highly do not. As well, when I'm recording this reading, Saturn is in your zodiac sign. And you know Saturn is not really your friend. A lot of things here that are changing my need consistency, my need other things in between. And Pisces, you might feel a little, a little uncomfortable in this particular energies or this time frame. But let's see when you'll commit, when you will marry or even when the kids will come. Okay, we do have here a Six of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Seven of Cups, and the Lovers. So there is some something here really speaks of at one point in this lifetime you will be at the crossroads to stay where you are or to choose a different path. For example, you you could be in a some kind of third party and either you choose you and follow to move on from that big love or that twin flame energy or stay where you are. For others of you it will be a choice between love and work. Either you are dedicating to family or or um, or love or career. So there is a, a major choice here for the Pisces I am speaking here. There's something here about we can't focus kind of like proportionally or in a balanced way on many things. One at a time or one only. Let's see. Four of Swords. Ten of Wands. Nine of Cups, Page of Wands, Queen of Wands, Knight of Wands, Five of Pentacles. There's a lot of fiery energy here, Justice, and a Magician. So the only major arcanas here for you loves, we have lovers, justice, and magician. There's also speaks of if you do want something, you gotta let it go. You gotta do you, you gotta focus on you. And 
and also as you see here we have page knight queen the one it's missing it's the king we'll see if it's coming out in your deck and your reading or not but I definitely see here there is something about what are you will be committed to or what you will commit to for some of you you might meet someone through your work or when you will learn something but also I see a very great potential Pisces regards career regards something to do on their own there is also here I'm hearing I can't be tamed or or to have a nine five job is not for you or you can't stick there's something here about I can't stick with those things I can't be there all the time that's not for me so it seems here that the Pisces I'm speaking you you could be a very unusual a troubled kid or it's not like troubled but you know definitely some people love to to stay in a job all day life or in a commitment all day life I don't see you being there it's more likely I I want to build my own life not others I don't want to build someone's future I don't want to build someone's dreams and so and so the fact is for some of you 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 could be inspired here by someone or someone you will be wanting they are just like as I mentioned I feel also they they will they will learn So for some of you, you could be and you will commit with someone in this life, but it's kind of very later in life. I will say past 40s, even 50s. If you definitely want someone and will never want to be with anyone else. For some of you could be with this fire energy for others of you it's you the fire inside you tells you to focus on you your career your business your finances and you, I don't I don't see here like the cups is four of cups seven of cups nine of cups so it's like you you will not be as much focused on love it's kind of like when you want someone, either they are busy, either they are taken, either they are not like you or you don't like them. Yes, there are people there, but you don't see them truly there for you. And also for some of you, you might feel that the commitment or connections are are there but it's hard to to be in a commitment or having a long-term commitment it's it's a hell of a lot of work and also at the same time it's eating your money or they take your money or they they're looking at you like looking at your money not that you or your true value or how you truly are for some of you, you could have been grown or been raised in a family where only one parent worked or you've been raised by one parent or you've been born when somebody was very young, you know, the like very young somebody here give you birth. So that's why I'm feeling here there was some, some kind of trouble. Like you, you need to fight for your own life. You need to fight for your own money, for, your own, for yourself. You need to build you. 
So that's why I see you, your commitment, it's later in life. I don't feel here you'll be focused, the Pisces I'm speaking, to be focused on having children or it's not like you don't love them. But you feel here that will be too much on your shoulder. And also through whatever you've been through is not quite. It's like to have children, you got to be set up or something like that. I also hear it's like either you, you are coming from a family that you've been born when the mother or father was very young or either been raised by one parent, young parent, or been born out of a third party. Because it seems here that when either young or before born, somebody here was split. So for that reason, it's just kind of you. You got to do what you got to do to become someone in this life. So that's why I don't see you focusing very much on the family or kids. It's more money career. It's not like you want to prove something, but it's kind of like... I am born for something else in this life than just, I don't know why I'm hearing boring life. Like some of you might feel here, family, it's boring life. Or to have a nine, five job, it's a boring life. So that's why I see you are a little wild individual here. Let's clarify here certain cards. The five of pentacles. Hierophant. Yes, yeah, somebody here could live in a family where money were a problem. Like somebody here who you who were with, like or who you've been growing up, they always struggled. Even though they had a high education or higher education out there or you know masters or even bachelors or no matter whatever education is, it's kind of like doing the, the education type or the, um, it's not something here that you, you want to pursue, even though you will have a degree, even though you will study something in this life. It's not like you, you will not or you will not having it, but it's kind of like marriage, it's, it's struggle. That's what I'm feeling here. The Ten of Wands, Wheel of Fortune. Yes, it's kind of like, also for some of you, my feel here, marriage is like a gamble. Either work, either doesn't. But I see you kind of like focusing on other things. For you, stability or commitment, it's towards other things. But also I see a very, a very lucky Piscean that... You see, Wheel of Fortune and the Hierophant is just kind of like you have a lucky slot in your hand to make your life growing. It's like you you could be, you know, like a privileged individual. You could be also a wonder kid. No matter you want commitment or not, but I see one uh, like... Those gifted children, because it's it's just feeling like you you don't. It's like I can't be in a box. It's not working. Also, for some of you, it's just like you you catch a lot of things in the air. Like you're not study, study, study. So later will like you. You are a street smart individual, let, let, let's say that. You are not a book smart, you are more like a street smart individual. The Four of Swords here, a clarifying Queen of Cups. For some of you, definitely you, you could be a person who have been thinking about the past, been thinking what you want, who you want to help. I feel here that... For some of you, you want to help the one who give you life. Could be a mother figure. Four of Pentacles. 
and also there's certain things here someone could not do you will do them four of swords four of pentacles temperance so definitely here you do have sagittarius or fire in your chart there's uh, other things here that healing certain patterns will bring you much more in this life magician here speak of nine of pentacles again i see here there are certain things about finances about your career about you find your true self four of wands for some of you it's just kind of living my my life fully having my own home having my own money being my it's kind of like on my own feet that's most or what most it's like i don't want to depend on someone or someone's penny chariot i want to travel around the world it's like a free life so the the pisces here i'm um, i'm seeing as like i i see you most of the life by yourself ten of cups you definitely will meet people around the way that you can connect knight of pentacles but again it's more likely later in life i also see here for those of you who were married young i don't see or wanted to commit with someone young I don't see that connection lasting okay but I see you in a commitment later in life for some of you if you were committed or have been in some kind of commitment even marriage I see you you will separate quickly for some of you, could be living here with someone for 14 years. But it's kind of like never worked or something here never worked. So if you will be committed here with someone young, or if you will have a commitment young, because I see someone young energy here for some reason, either you are one of your parents was young or you were young. I don't see that commitment going through. Neither to, to come back to that person. It's like you are not a label to someone. There's something here like, I'm not going to be there. Or I don't want to be there. I also see here some of you at one point might deal here with someone who will be in a divorce or separation with someone. Be very careful how you spend your money or how you you share whatever you share with that person. Because you will realize that this is not what you truly want okay another thing here what i'm seeing is all the fours here four of wands four of pentacles four of swords four of cups it's kind of your stability it's somewhere else somewhere else not the way you were born i also see here a very a very outgoing pisces i don't see you will settle you will settle very quick again i see you a traveler it's like you you will meet someone who will be pretty much like you Again, I see you with someone, but not married at the end of their life. 
somebody here will have some kind of failure but later on will be in a different energy some of you I'm, I'm hearing here there's a Pisces will have either one child either two children but I see one for sure for others of you I don't see kids for whatever reason that's the energies here let's see one advice for you darlings Queen of Swords, High Priestess, King of Swords, Six of Wands, and the Three of Swords, Page of Cups. Again, I see here either you, either your parents were to separate. Because I see a very coldish energy. No talking, communication, no communication. King and the Queen of Swords this is a very cold couple. For some of you, you got certain gifts from your parents and you can go, but... I definitely I see here a six of wands success but love wise not quite there for some of you you could be born in a family either to professionals either someone who who will work a lot or someone who will not be at it's kind of never home I see someone here will travel a lot so I definitely see you here for some of you it could be your mother who are working a lot there's something here about the childhood that could be very strong out there I also see here for some of you either you either someone that you really dearly loved they they couldn't know what else to do to make the life in a good way or life in a or for you to be comfortable I also see here someone sacrificed their life for yours judgment but it seems here that you supposed to come in here there's also something here with the judgment when someone here got pregnant they were needed to make a choice to have you or to not have you and somebody here, here choose to have you it's like with the risk of losing everything or the other person Whew, whatever speaks to you Pisces but that's the messages I'm getting in for you for this particular energy I hope this really speaks to you if it does let me know in comments and I'll see you next time Namaste.